Hello everyone, uh, Snipechicken here. Uh, today is Thursday, May 2nd. I'll be going on a recap for today. So those of you that are new, I make videos every day um, going over my trades, uh, my entries and exit and my thought process and hopefully to uh, reflect on my trading and improve on mistakes that I make. Um, so let's get started here. So the first, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go down the list. So the first one here is DFFN. So this is the short side. Um, so I made, uh, so I'll just go over the, uh, the trades in order. So the first, first one here, it was a misclick and this was just 10 shares and I lost like $4 from here. Uh, I accidentally shorted this, but I was waiting for it to trigger the, I think it was the 92. It was these little, so 94s. So I was uh, waiting for it to trigger. Um, but I accidentally misclicked my hockey and it ha it didn't trigger and I went in for like 10 shares misclick um, and then I stopped that for a 4 hour loss um, and then what I saw here was a, a little flag so you can see here a little flag here um, and then um, I bought the I think it was the 420 or so uh, 425 uh, with my stop off of the 398 or so um, so it was like a 25 cent uh, stop and then I had uh, pretty much a 50 cent move. Um, so I took some profits uh, here, here, and here and then I stopped on the rest when it broke this low. So it kind of wicked me out here. Um, so it wicked, I think, stopped a few people out here and then it started to break this flag again for a move higher. So it was uh, a little disappointing but you never know because this is like a short and hand a uh, cup cup and handle uh short move so that's why i stopped out his shiri goes back down and then further um uh, but uh in this case it just popped right back up and uh, move higher uh, so that was the four four dollars on the long side there um and then uh, when it reached higher it was starting to form this cup and handle over the nine ema so you can see this little cup and handle forming right there. Um, then a short right there for the move down to the 15 EMA. Uh, I mean, five minute, nine EMA. So you can see I short it there on the one minute, nine EMA break of the cup and handle. And I covered, covered, covered. And I, yes, I covered there. Um, pretty much hit my price target. Um, and then I was watching another another one so you can see there's a, a, a defined support resistance here uh, another big huge cup and handle and I, I missed this one uh, but it didn't it had VWAP um, right underneath so I wasn't uh, really too excited about it but I think it might have been the five minute or is it 15 minutes yeah, so the 15 minute target wasn't um, uh, that uh, attractive. So you can see it's very really close with the VWAP. So I didn't feel like it would push down. So that was like a, a $50 winner on that side um, from the negative $4 loss here on the short side. But um, the next trade was EMPH. So EMPH. Um, so what I saw here, I think this level here, so you can see it was having the support on this level, it was forming a nice cup and handle here. Um, it broke, I went ahead and took the short, and then it just popped right back. So what I learned in the past is if it doesn't go my way, uh, either like right away, I have learned to try to stop out either break even or a small loss so this time i stopped out for a seven dollar loss now uh, just right here because usually when it chops around like this i usually end up doing uh stupid things like adding to the pops like adding here adding here and then i end up stopping here uh, and usually yeah, it, it it turns out really bad and usually that's not my 
original plan, my original plan is to short this cup and handle, and then I end up by just adding, 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 and then stopping out when it breaks below these highs, and things just spiral out of control out of my uh, plan. So if it's not going the way your plan was, uh, just try to get out, you know, break even, and then reanalyze the trade. Uh, so that was a $7 loss. Um, HP. So HP, I uh, was just scanning through the stocks and tickers, and I saw this uh, resistance here. And as you can see, it's forming this nice big cup and round cup and handle. It broke, so I just kind of bought there and then sold along these spikes. So my first target was that 40 error from this day here. So you can see this 40. And then my nice next target was the 70 area. So I, I took took my profits up here and then the 40 area I upticked it um, and then it starts to roll over by falling down. So I I took profits up here and then I stopped break even on my last third. So I took the took took it off there even. And that was a $27 winner. Uh, NSPR, so NSPR, um, it had this one, one minute um, break, um, kind of like a mini cup and handle, you can say. Um, and then I went ahead to short that for the cup and handle break, plus the 90 even made break. And I think I took profits here on the VWAP and the 90 EMA. So 90 EMA was a little further. Um, but I saw that it was uh, around VWAP, so I just took it off there. And that was a $31 winner. Um, I ended up uh, retesting that um, area and then going back down. Um, potentially, I think it could have another uh, trigger here. Break here. I think I, I didn't take that trade. That might have been the five minute trigger. Okay, yeah, so it looks like it could have been the five minute trigger. Um, and then my last trade was Shaq. So this was a uh, earnings winner. Uh, I just had a quick scalp for that 9 EMA break on the after hours for this cup and handle. I uh, went ahead and short. Uh, I think it was this, this line here, the support line. So I went ahead and short that uh, and then covered covered um, my ultimate target was that five minute EMA so it reached it um, retest so I just took that off uh, this is this it was just a really small $13 uh, winner there um, I was also um, watching I think it was TAIT so TAIT had this runner up it had a big move uh, today all the way to seven um, and then it faded back down to $4. Um, but it didn't have a real trigger here. So you can see the one minute chart, it had this parabolic move. It went up. I, I really hope they would bounce here, give a small bounce towards the $7 for a little cup and handle, and then a wash down. And then I would have short here for that little cup and handle break. Um, but it just kind of washed down. Uh, Sold off and then it even sold through. It even sold through the five minute AMA. So I was watching that and there wasn't any setup, so it just kind of uh, faded all the way down. Um, so overall, did two longs and four shorts, uh, up a total of hundred fifty two dollars for today. Um, good start in the May. Uh, I see the small cap volume is picking back up. So hopefully this continues on to tomorrow and next week and hopefully uh, just be patient and um, wait for those setups. Um, so as always, um, I would like to thank everyone for watching and if you enjoy my content and would like to follow me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button uh, and give me a like and comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.